Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use table price plugin to build or create tables on your WordPress post. This plugin helps you to create any amount of tables or you can say tables that can be reused on multiple pages and posts. This plugin was previously called WP table but now renamed by owner Tobias by as a table press. Now I'm going to show you how to install this plugin and then we will proceed with creating a table and then we are going to use it on our posts or say pages. So if you are with me you can go to your plugins tab click on add new then type table press search for the plugins uh, there seems to be some issue with that so just type table press okay so we have this plugin here in search which is called table press take a few seconds to install this plugin and after that we will be able to just go directly to the table press tab for creating new tables in between let's just activate the plugin As you can see the plugin is activated and there is tab called table press here in left sidebar. It will show us menu options like all tables accessing. Um, that is the option for accessing all the table elements over there. Then add new table, import new table, export table, importing plugin options etc etc. So let's start with all tables option. As you can see we don't have any table right now so it will show the it options as blank after that there is import and export options I will tell you in short what exactly that is if you have any CSV file XLS file or XLS X file which are from Excel or say open office or LibreOffice then you can import that data here with the help of file or url or file on server or manually you can add that as you can see you use name age address id and you can just use such data and create the table if you want but this is very time consuming and i don't suggest that so either use file upload xlx file or point to some other file or URL you can set the import format to CSV character separated values or HTML table or JSON table or Excel or LibreOffice format you can add replace append the values or replace the existing table you can also get the options for appending or replacing if you select this there is export options once you start creating your own tables you will be able to export your tables in csv or html format or json if that is what you want other than that there are plugin options like loading custom css if you want to design your own table background or see border colors then you can use this custom css option there is also admin menu entry where you can use option here for table press you can uninstall table press from here or you can go to the plugins option and uninstall it so these are typical plugin options so let's see the 
tables first we have to create tables then we have to use them with the help of short code like this table id and we are going to use id here okay so let's first create let's name our table address address of bloggers okay number of rows five number of columns three okay let's just adjust the rows to three number of columns four or maybe three by three table okay click on add table now you can see there is tool tip to guide you you get three by three table here just type id name address then type uh, anything bob okay so just my mistake address avenue road and my and we have Eric Sydney. So that's our dummy data for now. We can also insert link if you want. Just we have to select this, click on insert link, then it will show prompt where we are supposed to change check for the link URL or existing page post. Click OK. Then just click here. It will show you link option you can either insert link or just remove it you will add some link for say yahoo add link as you can see it used the option a href and added a yahoo link around eric name you can insert image too if you want same method will check from the media library or you can do url or computer import after that we have advanced editor for manipulating this table please click the cell you want to edit using as an advanced table so we will click on this okay as you can see you can use html options and do other short code usage on this cell with this editor you can hide show rows duplicate rows insert or delete rows combine these cells in the row span etc etc you can add or remove rows columns also you have options here for sorting you can disable this if you don't want too much clutter pagination okay so we'll just save the changes and then we will look for the short code table was added successfully now let's use the short code here you can see it is showing in table information tab near short code Let's just copy it into a sample post. Okay, let's click on edit. Let's use it under this paragraph. Let's click on update. After clicking on save, we will check this post. See if it is working. As you can see this new table is added with URL for name Eric also the sorting and other options are disabled so this simple table is displayed 
you can adjust this adjusting this sort of alternate color with the help of custom CSS that I've shown you in options for plugin you can click on short show short code if you want to quickly access this table and want to paste it on some post or page right so this is all that you need to know in order to use this table press plugin on your WordPress dashboard and you can use this tables inside posts pages or any other place where you want to display this sort of tables I hope you enjoyed my video thank you